Okay, guys, we're ready to do this one. Um, I need a brush. There it is. And I'm going to do a nice light background. And I'm just going to paint this background, as you can see. I'm going to make sure that I get the whole thing because uh, when we put the mat on, we want it to totally cover the whole piece of paper. And we want to have the possibility to choose which way it goes, so that's why I'm doing the whole thing. That's that, that's the background color. Now I do see a little bit of white coming through, so I'm going to do it one more time. That's okay, that's uh, pretty good. Now I think I might let it dry do it one more time, so uh, I'll be back in a second. And it's already dry, so we're going to put on a second layer. I thought I just might do that because I'm going to really do going to put this one up on Etsy. So I want to make it to uh, look really well, good because I don't want any white pushing through. And I'm going to be uh, giving this a, a coat of varnish. So that's why I don't want anything of the paper popping through. That is really nice. I like it when it really is really opaque. There we go. And it is ready. Now, uh, this I'm not going to dry the second layer because I'm going to be uh, putting um, these big balloon flowers on this. So I do want some really pretty colors. And I'm dripping that on my table here. You can't, I don't think you can see it. Nah, my little uh, microphone is in the way. And a little bit of yellow. And then the darker turquoise. And I'm sort of leaning towards putting something contrast color in there. Eh, let's do it. We'll see what happens. If it's not pretty, we'll have to start over. There. Okay. Now, we have my, the balloon ready to go. Nice blue one. And we have to put that away. And we're going to dip it in here. Oh yeah, that one's pretty. So we're going to put this one smack in the middle. And then a small one, small one, and a small one. And a little bit more of the yellow. That's it. Now we're going to stop for a bit and see if it is pretty, but I need one of my mats. And the best way to see it is, you know, I can do this, but I really want to take it out of them, the packaging, because it makes... But then again, you have to be careful that you don't really mess it. Now that is really pretty, but it needs something else. So I'm going to just leave it like this because I like it. But then I'm going to uh, add something to it. But I do really like this. I'm just not sure what it needs. You know, I could outline it, outline these flower things. I could do that, but I'm not sure yet. And maybe 
I'll see if I can get a little bit of cell action in this one. Yes, I did. Tiny, tiny cells. And that's about what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let this dry and just see what happens. And then we're going to do the next one because I want to uh, to fit together. So we're going to put on the back color again. And guys, if I could speed that stuff up, I would, but I just cannot figure that out in my uh, video software, how to speed up the video. I, I one, one time I tried a, a different video uh, software. And that's where I could do the a little loop because I'd really like to, uh, you know, when you when you pull up the cup from a dirty cup, you know, that's the most exciting part. And what I like to do is just give you guys a back and forth of that a couple of times. But sometimes I can figure it out and then the next time I can't. I don't know what that is. Okay. Nice and smooth. Now I have to dry it and I'll be right back. Okay, it's dry and we're coming in for the second layer. Because we want it to be nice and opaque and full of color. And what does help when you're doing this is to have light shining uh, from the front so that you can see uh, exactly where you've been because it's, it turns, you know, wet, so it's shiny. And then you can exactly see the little bits where you have not added enough paint, like here on the side. Sorry about that. I hit the microphone. And then it's ready. I'm going to put that away and we're going to add more paint. The green and of course the darker turquoise. And I put in the brown. Where's the brown? Oh, here it is. For the contrast. Now, when you've used your balloon a couple of times, you really have to clean it off. Otherwise, the colors will mix to uh, more of a gray shade and you don't want that. So I'm going to pop it. Did I add yellow? I don't think so. I do want yellow in there. Okay, this is going to be the big one. We want that one more in the middle. And a little one up here, a little one down there. That's it. Although that last one could have a little bit more. Now. want to see if it has the same uh, look. Yep. So that's nice, but I am going to uh, do something and outline it. And this is uh, different than canvas because this will take much easier. So when you do, uh, I use a Posca pen and the, the Posca is about, I think it's the best um, acrylic marker on the market. Uh, I've had some for a long time. They don't clog up. They always work and that's something I really like. I, I do have pens where if you don't use them for like, I don't know, a couple of, uh, a couple of months, they just clog up and you can throw them out. Now this is really pretty if you're looking close. Let me see if I can get you in really close. There it is.
that's going to work. But it needs something to pop off the, uh, off the background, and I think that's black. So I'm not sure if I do have a black Posca pen. They are all colored, so maybe I'll have to buy one. But I'm going to outline all these little balls and maybe connect them with something, but I'm not sure yet. Okay, guys, this is it for today. A lot of videos. You know, making the videos is one thing, but uploading is another. It takes hours and hours and hours. So um, you'll see me back tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to do um, marbling. I set my mind to that. I want to do some marbling. I got some really nice paper to try. Got a lot of paint, so uh, that should work out fine. I was thinking of adding a little something with a little metallic thing in it. Oh, I could add a little glitter to this too. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you tomorrow and we'll be surprised what I do. You never know what I do. So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.